Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we are going to be experimenting with some wood blanks and this shimmer spray. Now, I know this is for like scrapbooking, but I feel like it will work perfect for wood blanks. I have not tried this yet, but I've been wanting to try it, so that's what we're gonna do. And then I have this stamp, and it's of a moon with a little fairy on top. So we're gonna play around with that as well. And I'm thinking we could probably do that in black to really, you know, work with this. So the first thing that I know we have to do is shake up each one of these. Otherwise the shimmer in it won't come out onto our wood blank. And I'm laying this down because I don't want the shimmer all over the place. So let's see. Ooh. And let's just blot up a little bit. Now I tried this on clay once. Oh my goodness, what a mess. It looked beautiful, but never dried. So I'm hoping that because wood is so porous, we will have better luck with um, it drying. And I am gonna kind of just blot the puddles up oh oh it did too much on that one okay that purple overpowered that Oops, ooh, that's getting everywhere. I almost feel like this is something I probably should do outside. <laughs> I'm gonna have very colorful hands. Come on. Okay, this one doesn't wanna work now. I don't know if it's clogged. All right, well, this one doesn't work. So we're not going to mess with that because I'm just going to get blue ink all over the place and I have no interest in that. So let me see if I can get those completely sprayed. Okay, I'm liking the purple and like the greenish color together. Let's see if I could do... And just add a tiny bit. Okay, so I like that. Let's try the other side. And I'm really hoping this is gonna come off my hands. So I really think that I want to do the pink more on this side. So let's just spray this whole thing with pink. And then we'll just add, ooh, that looks really cool. Blot that up. Look how cool that came out. I feel like just blending them like that worked out much better than trying to do what I was doing the first time. So very cool. All right, so now I'm gonna set these off to the side and I'm gonna see if these actually fully dry. And I'm really hoping they do because I think these will be fabulous to add to our wood earring collection. So let me put that off and let me see if I could get this off my hand now because this is a disaster. All right, let's see. Now I did get most of the ink off of me. This side is pretty good. This side I just touched, it's still wet, but it's also been on the plastic. 
so that's still wet. So let that side dry. And luckily, this ink with soap comes off fairly easy, so I'm happy about that. So I was a little nervous that I was going to go to work tomorrow with very colorful rainbow hands. So I will let this completely dry. And I think I'm going to give it about, I don't know, a half hour just to see. Like I said, this side seems, nope, see, I touched it. I'm almost wondering, like the last time I tried this on clay, anytime I put like a sealer on, it just kind of re-wet the ink and never fully 100% dried. It felt dry to the touch, but when you put a sealer on, it just got all watery again. So I'm wondering if it's going to do the same thing to the wood. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but I'm almost afraid it is going to just because this side was dry. See, dry. And then let me get my finger wet and get my finger wet. And you see, so I'm almost wondering if this stuff just never fully dries and you're not going to be able to seal it. Maybe I'll let it dry overnight and see if that makes a difference. So let me automatically, let me just put my stamp on right away. This way it has a chance to dry overnight. Let me decide what sides I want. I think I'm going to do those two sides for my stamp. Let me put my stamp on here. Line it up. Beautiful. I almost wish I had one that was double sided, you know, like mirrored. It's almost, oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Let me see if I have another one. Let's see, let's see. Let's do that one. That'll be super cute. I'm really hoping this works out. Um, just because I really think this would be super cute. And it would be awesome to be able to use this particular ink on earrings because I can think of a million things that we could do. All right, so that's what we are doing. I'm gonna use those two stamps because I love things being mirrored. I don't like um, using the same stamp facing the same direction. It just drives me crazy. So we're gonna stick with that. Now I'm gonna let this completely dry overnight. And to do that, I'm actually going to hang them. So I know both sides are completely dry and then we will see and hope that this experiment works in our favor all right I will see you tomorrow all right guys so my pieces have been drying for almost 24 hours and so far Nothing is rubbing off on my hands. Everything looks really good. The test is gonna be how it holds up to the resin. So that's gonna be the real test here. So you can see how beautiful that looks. I mean, how gorgeous those are. I really hope that these sprays work because if they do, there's a lot of things we could do with this.
So I'm actually going to try. Oh, I'm almost nervous about trying this because I know what it did to my clay. Um, I'm going to put it on a tile. And I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of resin on here. And let's just see if my ink kind of smears. And I actually think we're good. Nothing's rubbing off. All right. Let's put our resin on. I want to add some stones to this as well. So, because this fairy is like blowing um, something in the air, but we're not seeing what she's blowing. So we're going to put some little stones on here and make it look like she's blowing some fairy dust. Go over it with my flame. I am super excited that, th that this is working out because I really wasn't being very hopeful on this. <laughs> I was hoping, but I wasn't keeping my hopes up on it just in case. So I have like little stars here that we could add. Where's my little, oh, right here it is. And then I also have like little tiny stones that I'm going to add. Let me see. So let's just, let's just add a couple little stars. Do about three stars. And then we're going to add just a couple tiny, or I should say a few, a few tiny ones. So that's what we have. And I'm gonna put this under my UV light. And then I'll start on this one. And I know the black ink doesn't show up very well on this. So the next time I do it, I might almost do like black and silver or white or something like that to kind of give it like a little shadowing look. I think that would look super pretty. But this particular experiment was just to see if that spray would work on our wood earrings. And I'm very, very happy. I know I said that because that has been sitting on my shelf for quite a while because I don't do scrapbooking like I used to. So to be able to use it now in my jewelry really makes me happy. All right, my pieces came out fabulous. I am so beyond happy with the results of this. I really hope that you guys can see this. I know my lights are very bright, so I'm like trying to look through my camera to <laughs> show you guys without a reflection. But look how beautiful. So my next thing is, we know resin is going to work, so I want to see if my bright tone will work because this is supposed to work on multiple things. And my big concern is, is it completely 100% dry or will it kind of re-moist itself um, like it does on polymer clay? Uh, paintbrush. Now, this is going to be the big one because um, it's going to stay wet for a while. All right, I just want to kind of stir it up. I almost feel like, okay, so there you can see that the bright tone is almost like 
making it wet again. But this dries pretty quick. So let's see what it does. I already have it wet, so I'm just going to finish it. I love doing these little experiments because with wood earrings, I am really open to try so many things. And I love doing the whole mixed media thing. So if I could find products, you can see how it kind of re-wet itself and the resin did not do that. But I love adding different products to my, my wood blanks and stuff. So if I can find different ways of using it and then showing you guys um, what to do or not to do um, to kind of prevent you guys from making a huge mess, that's perfect. So now we know that resin works with that particular product and bright tone sealer um, kind of re-wets it like it did the polymer clay. So let's see how long this takes to dry now, but I absolutely love that my resin worked for this. I'm super excited because I really almost felt like putting the resin on it would just spread and smear everywhere. Oh, excuse me, I have hiccups. So I'm gonna kind of time this, see how long it takes to dry, and then um, I'll pop back on, and we'll see, we'll do it like a little touch test thing and see if I made a mistake by putting that sealer on or if it stays okay. So it's been about five minutes. This one looks pretty dry. So let me get a clean finger here. All right, so that one looks pretty good. This one's a little wet. So I'm almost, I don't wanna really mess with that one yet. But just by going off of this one, nothing's coming off. So I guess initially it kind of re-wets it and then dries but i'm almost wondering if just doing the full uv or uv listen to me i'm wondering if just doing the yeah uv resin <laughs> oh my god so i'm just wondering if doing a uv resin when using that product is your best option this way you know if you're caught in the rain you're not going to have something drip down onto you because i almost like here let me see i'm really taking this to the extreme and i don't know why but i just see i almost feel like doing the uv resin is the only thing you can use when using this product so that's what i am going to end up doing i'm going to use UV resin on all my stuff. I'm going to just edge my piece here and I'm going to use my black Sharpie marker. I love these Sharpies. I'm sure if you watched any of my uh, previous videos this month, you will see me using them because I think they're fabulous. And they go on really nice. Look at that. Beautiful. So it just edges it off real nice. And then I'm going to put resin on the back of this just to make sure that they are 100% sealed because I actually really like these. And I'm going to keep these because these are adorable and I know I will wear them. So resin the backs. And then we'll put the, um, I want to make this level. It's slightly off level now because I have those little stones on there. So I am going to, uh, let me see here. So I'm going to put the resin on the back of these and then I will put them together. So 
I'm basically just using my clay to make sure that my piece is leveled. This spray, I really hope these guys can see how beautiful this spray is and the shimmer that is staying on this wood because it is amazing. This looks like a night sky to me. I'm gonna pull this up just to show you and hopefully you'll be able to see it. I just need to make sure I got this all the way to my edge. I'm a stickler with my resin. I love everything to be perfect with my resin and it has to be to the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up just so you can see the blues and the purples and the greens. And I really, really hope I can't turn it. After I do the um, the light, I'm gonna turn it just so you can see because it is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of a night sky. The resin really just makes the colors pop. It really brings it out. That's why I want you guys to see it so bad because it's just so gorgeous. And I have a bunch of colors, so I am going to do this again with different colors here. But for the first time, I really just wanted to kind of do an experiment with these guys and show you firsthand what I'm seeing. And then my next video will be a regular video, just giving you a step-by-step. -step. But I love my little experiment videos because then these guys really see what works and what doesn't. Let me go over that. All right, so this one is done. And I'm gonna try to pull this up so you guys can see. I'm hoping right there, I'm thinking you can see all those. It reminds me of a night sky. And I'm hoping that with all these lights, you're able to see. And unfortunately in my camera, I can't tell but I'm hoping you can. So let's just add the last bit and then our earrings are done. So what we learned with this little experiment is that we have to use our UV resin because if we use any of the other stuff, it basically is rewetting the spray and it doesn't work as well as the UV resin does. Can you see? Let's see if you can see that one. Let me put that on. And then close. And now I got Palmer clay goop on here. So let me just wipe that off. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment with me. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make a comment. It helps push me out there. And I will see you all next time. Bye.